So, there's been a mind flayer inside the artifact, or astral prism, the whole time we've had it. The more I learn, Lady Shah has given me a new mission. And the prism plays no part in it. In fact, it seems like the Mother Superior's concern alone, and she has strayed from the Dark Lady. She will be in for a rude awakening when I finally stand before her again. But I digress. Did you want something? I haven't even dared to use the more benign forms of illithid powers. Do you really think I'm eager to jump to the next step? Do you know what this entails? Well, of course you do. But I don't want that for myself. Fine. I truly hope you're right about this. Life pulses from within. The parasite's thoughts whisper at the edge of your mind. It wants to share itself with you. It wants to be let in. Go on. Don't be afraid. It only wants to help you evolve. through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. Perhaps, once the others see what you can do, they will consider trying it for themselves. Retinue of warriors and assassins, the best House Bane Ray had to offer. I expected a battle, but found a fully laden feast table and a welcome befitting a house matron. <sighs> Ketherick expected us, expected me, and I fell for his flattery. I recognize my flaws. Pride is certainly among them. Catherick proposed an alliance between Moonrise and Menza Baranzen. I admit I was captivated by him. He invited me to the head of his table as his guest of honor. I was wary, of course. If I had been in his position, the food would have been poisoned. It was not the food I should have been wary of. It was the pale woman at the foot of the table. Orin the Red. We had barely begun to eat when she spoke for the first time. I only caught one word, my name. Then, quick as lightning, she climbed onto the table, a dagger in each hand, and skipped toward me, slicing the throats out of my men as she passed them. Few things frighten me. Orin is one of them. 
Ketherick held me still. His hand on my shoulder, the grip tight enough to crack the bone. When Orin stood before me, she touched the dagger to my eye, drawing out a tear of blood. I want this one, she said. Ketherick nodded his permission, and I was taken below. You've seen the horrors of the colony. Orin kept me there for days. She forced me to watch as my men were processed. Some for food, others as thralls. And then she placed the tadpole in my eye herself. I deserved it. I was passive, weak, proud. You know the rest as well as I do. There were massacres before the Grove. Religious communities, mostly. Those who refused to convert. Then there was you, and now there is freedom. <sighs> Soon there will be vengeance. We will need every advantage to survive the battles that are to come. And my illithid parasite has already shown its worth. If this superior tadpole is capable of unlocking my mind's full potential, it is a tempting proposition. Its influence on you is plain to see. You are sublime. I will be unstoppable. Life pulses from within. The parasite's thoughts whisper at the edge of your mind. It wants to share itself with you. It wants to be let in. Go on. Don't be afraid. It only wants to help you evolve. A coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. When it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. Perhaps. Once the others see what you can do, they will consider trying it for themselves. You wish to consult me? So, we owe our lack of tentacles to one of the very creatures that kidnapped us. At least my lack of tentacles. I'm not sure what's next for you. Don't look at me like that. I know what you're going to say. The answer is no. No. That was before I knew the cost. Before I knew it meant transforming into some grotesque beast. I remember how it hurt when I turned into a vampire. My body writhed and warped while I was utterly helpless. The grip of death owned my heart as it beat its last. I don't want to turn into anything else. I can't do that again. I can't watch my body be taken over. I am not. I just don't want to lose my God's given good looks, really. Wouldn't that be a crime? Thank you. 
I'm really not sure. from within. The parasite's thoughts whisper at the edge of your mind. It wants to share itself with you. It wants to be let in. Go on. Don't be afraid. It only wants to help you evolve. A coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. Perhaps. Once the others see what you can do, they will consider trying it for themselves. At the ready. Is that blood? No, never mind. Go ahead, I'm listening. I can only imagine what I could do were I to adopt the biology of a mind flayer. Certainly doesn't seem to have done you any harm. Or rather, you've not yet done me any harm. Still, there are undoubtedly risks to such a transformation. If this is what the fates have offered to aid our cause, then who am I to refuse? I'll take your tadpole. Let's see what it has to offer. Life pulses from within. The parasite's thoughts whisper at the edge of your mind. It wants to share itself with you. It wants to be let in. Go on. Don't be afraid. It only wants to help you evolve. A coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. Perhaps. Once the others see what you can do, they will consider trying it for themselves. What to do? How can I assist? It also promises to break us beyond repair. This ossified parasite does not make us more, but less. Do you not feel the cold where once there was heat? The void where your soul once resided? of the grand design and the doom of the githyanki the end time of the 16 planes will be upon us and the astral would be the first to fall very well i will accept what this damnable gate rock has to offer 
Vlachit kosivim hrath krashet. Life pulses from within. The parasite's thoughts whisper at the edge of your mind. It wants to share itself with you. It wants to be let in. Go on. Don't be afraid. It only wants to help you evolve. A coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. Perhaps. Once the others see what you can do, they will consider trying it for themselves. How can I assist? I'm listening. I'd like the same.